So I see a pattern here. It's just lots of corridors. What are you saying? You saying this isn't the best level design you've ever played? Uh, well, I'm not, to be fair, there were stairs in one level, man. Stairs. All these types of games are just really long corridors. Before it's, that, there were ramps. It, it's, it's depending on, like torchlight, long corridors, but it's enjoyable. I'm sure Diablo Three is just massive fucking corridors. Yeah, but that's all randomly generated, so it's slightly different. You never know what's going to be in each room. There's yeah, I mean, it's just it's massively generated corridors, and this one is just generically fucking generated, generated corridors. Half generated, and the fucking programmers got bored and went on. It's just at the end of this level, uh, John Stewart's going to come back, and we're going to have to esc uh, escort some Eskimos and a couple of, uh, or maybe some penguins. We've got to escort, escort Cross over from Madagascar. Mm. Oh, there we go. End of the level. It certainly was the ice path. They really didn't sugarcoat that level. <laughs> Sugarcoated. How much of the sugarcoating level? Got more points. No, we were so close to getting more points. I'd swap Robin out. He seems pretty shit. I don't know who's any better though. <laughs> I guess she's better, she can heal people. She can heal me any time. Psychologically. Getting a lot of Japanese love for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That should be, be one of your birthday prizes. <laughs> Whoever wins the tournament gets a Japanese love pillow. Well, it's just a pillow that you've. <laughs> my face, face on it. it. Yeah, so. oh, I'll grab whenever you want. I'll start, I'm, I'm currently reading. Um, you know Yatsi, the guy who does all the Joe Punk's Eurasian video? Yeah. Yeah, I started reading his book Mob World. And it's, oh, yeah. it's quite funny. It's like it's a bit like that um, that other one I read, the, what was it? Yes, or whatever it was called. The one about the games developer. Yeah. But it's about... You. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's about... But this one is about a guy who was in like a, a kind of like World of Warcraft style game. And he's like a mage who dies and gets brought back as a zombie. But there's a funny bit where he's surrounded by all the other undead people. This way. And they're talking about, and they're talking about how they all different look. And there's just what a passing comment about how some of the zombies have just got tea towels on there. Like obviously the, their skin has melted; it's just a skull. Right. And to hide that, they've just got tea towels on their face, Styling. and they've drawn tea, they've drawn faces on the tea towels that they're <laughs> wearing, which I thought was one of the funniest visual That's like the jokes I've ever heard. <laughs> balloon at the end of uh, the end of World's End. Yes, yeah. Fucking Bobby, it's got blue on his head. Yeah, which I always thought was weird. He didn't just—if I mean, that had been me, that, he, I'd have drawn a face on there. At he least. did. He had, he, had, he had eyes drawn on it. Oh, did he? I thought yeah. it was just he a, smashed just... from the eyes up, so he just got big cartoon eyes oh, I drawn know. on like a big uh, paper mache head. I thought he just had the balloon. Uh, what the? Is that? That's the thing. I thought that was a pickup. Oh, we got to punch this thing. Yeah, smushy. Also, that uh, yeah, it seems another another book he's got. I want to get around to reading. He's, he's got a book called Jam, which is just about instead of like a zombie apocalypse, it's just, it seems to be about like a giant amount of jam has become has come alive. Not sentient. Yeah, and it's like a blob. Uh, yeah, exactly. So imagine a blob, except it's sweet and sticky. <laughs> which I should have been the tagline. It might well be. And it also likes to disintegrate tramps. <laughs> I'm reading a Tom Holt book at the moment called Donut. Yeah. The opening premise is about a scientist who fucks up doing a decimal place on an equation and blew up the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now no one will employ him. Understandably so. Destroy this yeah, it, that's the thing that causes the weird purple stuff to the little purple robots to, to robots to. Oh, there's multiples of it. There we go. I saw somebody on Amazon has already started selling their PS3 for uh, 300 quid. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Already people are like, no. Last time I looked at it, fucking Amazon was still sold out. And like you can buy it second hand for like 500 quid people are selling uh, on the, the marketplace. This one person must be des- desperately trying to get rid of it. Well, they might they might be brand new in boxes on the marketplace. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, you can still buy it for like 350 off Amazon, but you have to just wait till they've got one, <laughs> which is like unknown time. I checked today; it appeared like they were all back in stock again. It's just like so obviously all the the uh, opening game bundles that they had when it first came out are gone now, and it's just stuff like the infamous Second Son ones are the kind of the only one they have at the minute. Some kills on ones, but I'm surprised the PS3 is down to three. The people are trying to sell their PS3s at PS4s for uh, 300 quid already. And well, f- when Evil Within finally comes out, maybe I can get one for like 250. Well, I mean, 300 quid yeah, for one's not yeah, too bad, exactly. Pretty, yeah. I mean, I paid 300 quid for my original blocky PS3. So it's quite cool that it's already dropped down to that price. I just I don't want to buy one until it's on its second gen. And I, I, I couldn't help but laugh like already Xbox Ones doesn't really mean anything, but already Xbox Ones are like I've only got three and a half stars on Amazon and uh, PS4s have got four stars, so already people are not clearly a big fan of the Xbox Ones. I saw that the uh, Dead Rising 3 has a 13 gig patch. <laughs> That's just, yeah, I saw about that. Uh, that's that fucking unbelievable. Fun. That's pretty bigger than the game itself is. I think the game is pretty huge. I think the game's like 20, 30 as well. It's just like, the people have got a limited amount of uh, broadband limit. Like, if you could only use 20 gig a month, and you already <laughs> use 13 gig on a fucking a patch for your game, that's just like, oh, uh, well, I'm not fucking, ins- I'm not patching that game. Yeah, imagine if you were in student accommodation and you were oh, downloading that. <laughs> It'd be like, your update will be done in two days. Yeah, exactly. If you were lucky. <laughs> it crashes halfway through. And I don't know, because I don't really know how it works, I don't know if... You, I know with the Xbox, Xbox One, you can. it's a, a case of... You can play the game while it's installing. I don't know if you can play the game while it's patching. Because if, it if you can play the game while it's patching, it's not too bad. You don't have to worry about that. Otherwise, you're just like, oh, great. I'm just sitting here for fucking hours. Oh dear. When there's nothing left to say, there is. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I was just, actually, I was just thinking, I was just like, this, this is. Because, you know, this, the TV series has really good storylines. Yeah. And it's weird that this has such a kind of generic storyline. I don't know if it's going to kick in better. What are you talking it's about? Like, Someone's this... taking a statue and we need to find them. Get us them. the bits. Well, there's always fucking... They just Why keep they spawning. spawn back there? They don't spawn near with fucking art, do they? No. It's not the way it works. There we go. No. Yes? No, you no. may not continue. Oh god, more people! It's not even a fucking challenge. So they need to be harder. The bosses need to be well, not easier. Well, they need to get harder, and the bosses just need to be less tedious. Yeah, they need not just well, span can... the same move over and over again. Cheshire was all right. She actually had different moves because she had the rocket launcher and she had something else that she did. But the other guy just did that shitty spin thing. Even like he had he had what looked like a charge attack, and then all he did was spin. It's just weird. I think we leveled up. Yeah. But we didn't level up. We're still doing the next one. Oh, but no, we won. No leveling up. We're doing the naked man style. No leveling up. Pro tip, don't rush into it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, at least they've moved up and telling us about Garth. Who can turn into a skunk. Of all the animals. Looking back enemies gives you precious seconds. Brilliant. What was that noise? It was the... It sounds like that fucking orb thing they've got in the cartoon. Where the fuck is that? Yeah, the exactly. Well, where's that in the sky? Where's that? Where's the wolf? What's up with Flash's neck? What's up with Flash's spine? Is <laughs> <laughs> this... I ran again. myself retarded! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he swapped, uh, he swapped again. Brilliant. 
I even noticed he's still got, he's still yellow, his, his icon is yellow as well. Oh. All the detail. Can we come in, please? Can we come in? Oh, yes. we have to punch it, Smash really. It. I like, what? The best the, key. The, the, t the tiny little sound that the fence makes when you smash it. Yeah. It's very fragile. It's not really a fence so much as just a, a, an idea. I love that. I'd say I have no idea who the boss of this level is going to be, but there's only so many frost people, is there? It's either going to be uh, Captain Coles or. Hey. Jack Frost guy. Well, we, but is it? But like, Sportsmaster made like it made no sense for Sportsmaster to be in a museum. He's if he, <laughs> unless it was a museum of sports. Well, yeah, it could have been a museum it of anything. It could have been a museum of the original Olympics, all that great <laughs> stuff. And baseball wasn't the original Olympics. Yeah, exactly. The great like loved it. a bit of baseball. All right, so well, I did press that, but then again, maybe it didn't count that I pressed that. I'm pressing it too. That Maybe there must be enemies. Oh no, the, 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 cool, the things in the corner. We gotta go in the corner. There's, there's nothing here. What's it pointing me towards? Press that button again. But what? <laughs> no. Uh. Oh, oh, that! Loud and clear, Alcar. No sign of Sportsmaster or Dr. Sandsmark. We found a base. Oh, yeah, we're also looking for Dr. Sandsmark. What a name. Hello, what? Hello, that Pete. What the fuck? Yeah, that's how boxes work. You never seen a box coming out of a wall? <laughs> so I store no. all my boxes. Do you think, mate? Captured villagers. You cannot do this. No. Ha! <laughs> that was fast. I don't understand what the point of that is. Because they're collecting all the villagers. Villagers gotta collect them all. Well, they certainly gave him a frosty reception. <laughs> cool down, icy balls. That should have been a catchphrase. I'm going to make your balls icy, Batman! <laughs> oh, I saw the, uh, you know, the, the TV series The Trip. Tri yeah. Yeah, that's getting a film. Well, they, they did do a film of it. They edited the first series down into a, a two hour film. Yeah, it was in America. It's getting another one called The Trip Goes to Italy or something. <laughs> And the, the clip I saw is just where the two of them are just doing impersonations of Michael Caine, as all were he's, and some impersonations of Bane and Batman. <laughs> so it's just them having dinner again, isn't it? still no clock. No, yeah, exactly. It's just presumably just an hour and a half version of them in Italy. They were just... Coogan and the uh, Bryden were probably like, damn, that TV series is popular. We'd quite like to go to Italy. Let's <laughs> make a film. Just start doing series all over the fucking place. Yeah, exactly. Doing <laughs> the exact same jokes. This time they're in a hotel. Why can't I even punch? Well, it'd be quite cool if you could get real, like, proper people in this, like Firestorm and other. Slightly more. <laughs> really overpowered people. Yeah, exactly. Characters were actually quite interesting. I don't know if Firestorm's ever been in any games. No. To be fair, he's, well, he's quite before because he wasn't that big a character until recently. I always liked him, but yeah, he's always become like a background character. I'd like to have seen Supergirl in this, but of course, she should have never turned up in the TV series, as far as I remember. No, I don't think she did. Yeah. It's a, it's kind of, I guess they couldn't afford, they could afford to have Superboy and Supergirl together. Well, the Supergirl has the full powers of Superman, so she'd be more powerful than Superboy. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't know. That, I guess she was never. She's never been in the Justice, the Young Justice, has she? she was, no, she's in Justice League. Yeah. But it's a different reality, so she could well have joined them. I think we've got to go back round. 
We must go back. Glassy. Oh, have you seen there's a trailer out for Son of Batman as well? Ye yes. Oh, it's quite cool. Though, to uh, Damien's voice, I don't... It's like obviously it's like an it's like, it is like an eight year old's voice, which is so weird to hear. So weird. An eight year old do that voice because <laughs> Damien's like a little shit. I'm the Damien. <laughs> yeah, Talia makes him smoke forty a day, he, <laughs> so that he'd have a gruff voice when he popped out. They don't even try and shoot us till we get near them. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty blind. <laughs> the goggles are all fucked up. They've been sneezing and fogging their goggles up. Gogging their foggles. Yeah! How is the flash even that strong? Where the fuck is the other one? Oh, she's off the camera. Damn, metal! Yeah, they rehealed the Martian <laughs> You use all your powers on the corpses. I like how we were like, oh, uh, she's quite useful because she can heal us and we haven't really needed her to <laughs> well, heal she us. she might have been healing us and we would not even notice it. Yeah, well, our health bar seems to be a lot help, up, up, up quite a lot, but I can't tell if that's just because they regen or not, though. There we go. Shockwaves. I also know this game's got a challenge mode, which is just... Yeah, I know there's somewhere you can play as villains as well. Oh, great. Look forward to playing as Sportsmaster. Powers. Swing back right, swing back left. I'd be mean, hilarious if when you play something he has like really cool powers, but they <laughs> never bother to uh, program his AI to do anything other than that. I can't remember what it was I heard it on, but it was one of the most bizarre things I've ever heard was someone was talking about the Blade game, and they were saying mm -hmm. how originally the game designers uh, they couldn't, there was a massive glitch in that game that was caused by jumping and uh, it could never fix the glitch so anytime you jumped it, the whole level went weird and you just glitched outside so what they eventually did was they figured out that the only time you ever needed to jump was in the jump tutorial so they just <laughs> took the jump out it's just like that, that's the type of game design you want to have you want to see it's just like, we can't fix this problem he's so fast he's so swift he can't leave the ground yeah exactly I couldn't imagine a blade game I think just... I played that I didn't even remember I it think it was bad games. I presumed it was on the PS1. Yeah, I remember it being on PS1. Because if I, when I think Blade, I would have thought it would have been the, it, it like a Devil May Cry ripoff. Yeah, I think, but it, it, I think it kind of basically was, you know, you go into the area, the magic walls come up, you kill all the bastards. Yeah, but a Devil May Cry <laughs> ripoff where you can't, cry jump. you can't jump. Where you just, ru just walk towards everything in slow motion and just continuous Ryle, Ryan Reynolds commentary. And Triple H has electric teeth. And the dog has vampire teeth. And Dracula has an obsession with Dracula's the really least gothic person mm. ever you've ever seen. Fucking shit. The trailer for Castlevania Lords of Shadows 2 looks really cool though. Um, Alucard's going to be in it. Cool. And loads of other different people. It really explain how fucking Robert Carlyle became Dracula. I think that you probably will. Well, I still need to play the DLC and still need to play the 3DS game of that. Is that. he actually possessed by Dracula or is he just no, he is a vampire and changed his name to Dracula? Yeah, he calls himself Dracula so the idea is that he actually is Dracula. He's the first one. Right? Yeah. But, uh, well, I mean, I need to play the 3DS one because as far as I presume that will explain... It will start halfway through. Oh, it's, uh, it will explain how Alucard becomes a vampire. This horrible fucking new boss with like this one. Maggot worm thing with a head coming out of its back. I just cannot be a. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Hopefully, don't get stuck. I fucking hate this run punch. Like, he was missing everyone. Yeah, it would be helpful if you could lock on. But 
So Must many games just don't even bother with Lockhorn. Eh, it's a dying art form. Where the fuck are we going to be going now? Uh, we appear to be just getting over the villagers. Maybe there's a... And I'm looking at all. Let's do it. Uh, I can jump on here. Uh, I can't see anything. Oh, there is something on there, but... <laughs> what? Uh, the fuck happened? St where are all the fucking <laughs> costumes? It's the only thing I want. I got a costume. Oh, that's not even, that's like, I, don't even, <laughs> not, I don't even want a costume from a character. I just want to see the bloody costumes. Uh, that would be my review for the game, which is like... Show me the costumes. Nice. Yeah. That, that, that would be my tagline at the back of the, the front cover. Show me the costumes. Or, oh, has some more costumes. I think that's all the villagers there. Fucking yeah. dots all over the place. Yeah, but those are the villagers who appear to have got where we need to go without turning off the beams. I also keep expecting, like, because I, I, it's what used to happen in the X Men games, is when you used to smash open barrels and boxes, you'd get yeah, XP. Yeah, like XP or audio logs or something, or but so just. There'd be a purpose to them, not like, oh, we've made them smashable, and then we couldn't bother to put anything inside. Yeah, it's like, why can you smash them? Surely that just takes up, like, that's just time and effort to but make them. That's a joke in Fable 2 at the beginning, it goes, just like Fable 1, you can smash up the boxes. Nothing inside them anymore, though, really. <laughs> I mean, Fable 3, I don't even know if you can smash anything. You can buy houses! That's what you wanted out of Fable and game. Beat yeah, the houses. most underwhelming boss of any game ever. Well, the houses are pretty good. Yeah, but I don't get the fight house. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. You can fight houses I mean, in Final Fantasy VII. Maybe. Imagine if the final boss for Fable 3 had been Mr. Monopoly. <laughs> He's just like well pissed. That you you're stole just, all my houses! Exactly. He's just so annoyed that you're just you're getting in on the, the game. He really loves monopolising. <laughs> started out a bit too early. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna dash forward and then start it. Didn't even have the difficulty. Well, I suppose it has a hard mode, but I don't know if you unlock the hard mode or we just missed it. Might be one of those weird games where you can turn the hard, the, the difficulty options, is, the difficulty option is in the options. Just where am I? I'm always in the corners trying to find costumes. That's Rory in the corner. That's what we're looking for, all the costumes. Not even trying to beat people up anymore, just literally looking for costumes. It feels like there should be stuff behind these cars. It, it feels like matter. there should be a lot of stuff in this game that they just ran out of money to do. <laughs> we've got enough money to finish this game or finish off the season, and they had enough money to do neither. Yeah. Nothing. Again, nothing. The dots to uh, um, Oh, it's gone green. It's gone green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what the dots are. The dots must be. The dots are. Yeah, they're just when you save people. That makes more sense. Yeah, it's very weird how it, it lets you do yeah, that. You think there'd be a slightly bigger box around the camera, you on the camera. Well, well it's a, it surprises me that you can't. Yeah, you can't pull out. That's what she said. Mm. Like you can't like. Normally, it's like a top-down view, and if you want, you can yeah. switch the camera to be behind your characters. But this, they've just decided to just purely stick it at this angle. She <laughs> said.
we can get a developer of this commenting on the video crying. Go, we tried our best! I'm sure there they did no try. Money. Money. Not there out. was no money! <laughs> they may well have tried their best. Well, I think we all, we all understand that whoever made this did not have much money. <laughs> I mean, this game is not great, but it's still vastly better than the Turtles one. If anybody wants to send us, who worked on this game, a copy of this game, <laughs> go for it. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but feel free. Or just a signed picture of yourselves for this game. <laughs> We're not going to give our address, just send it to every address in the, in the, in the, in the world. All the addresses. Exactly. All really the addresses. Good. If you can figure out what country we come from, you'd be surprised. It's not the one you think. Yeah, twisted. It's a made up one. <laughs> <laughs> Punch everything! Talking about how many more of these people we've got to rescue is endless. One minute the levels are fucking too short and only three minutes at each. Oh. Next minute we're doing this for fucking half an hour. Well, I guess those first couple of levels really were They were the tutorials without saying. Without saying you had to do anything. They said, this is punch, this is hard punch. You can use them together. That was the end of the tutorial. Yeah, because they knew that was all you were going to use. We could figure out the buttons. What we needed to know was where the fucking upgrade menu was. <laughs> Maybe they just didn't think anybody would get no, past those two powers. They just think, fuck. Oh, I've got ice. Everyone, corners, check the corners. The music has stopped. We must be getting somewhere. <laughs> Nothing. What? No, nope, that's just snow. Collect all the snow. <laughs> Or is this all the cocaine that the developers bought instead of spending money on the game? It's just Charlie Sheen's personal collection. It's Charlie Sheen's garden. Oh, thank God that level's over. Or is it? Yeah. Hey again. Hey again. What a surprise. <laughs>